Council officer elections for the 2019-2020 school year are coming up. Any 7th grade student interested in running to be student council president, vice president, secretary, or treasurer should come to a meeting on May 1st after school in room 182 to get an application and hear descriptions of the positions. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Shaver in student services or Mrs. Leo in room 182. There will be weekly after school soccer on Tuesdays from 2 to 2.45 for any boy grades 6 through 8. Students should first report to the gym. See Mr. Mullen or Mr. Stable with any questions. Attention all students and staff. The Maryville Color Run will take place on May 9th at Cheektowaga Town Park. All are welcome. You can pick up registration information in the main office. Participants can secure sponsors and earn great prizes or put together a team and qualify for a discounted registration fee. Welcome to Chromebook Classroom, James here. Today we're going to be talking about moving around the classroom with Chromebooks, like physically holding the Chromebooks and how you should move around the room with them and not. So why do teachers care so much about how you hold a computer? I mean, it's a computer. You carry it and then you move around the classroom. We get it. First of all, you'd be surprised what your fellow classmates get and don't get. And even if your school is a secret vault with billions of dollars in gold, Though it is more than likely that their money for technology comes out of something closer to this. Regardless, they've invested thousands of dollars to provide you with these powerful instructional tools. So please listen carefully. Our good friend Mauricio is going to show us how to carry a Chromebook. Here he's carrying a Chromebook like a dog begging for a treat. That is not how you carry a Chromebook. Now the way he's carrying it here will more likely get him to the principal's office rather than his desk. In his third attempt, he has opened his Chromebook before he's arrived at his work table. If he was trying to impress me by showing me how excited it was to work in my class, it didn't work. Thankfully, it looks like the fourth time was a charm, because here, Mauricio firmly has two hands underneath the Chromebook with his thumbs on top and ready to move about the classroom. Nice work, Mauricio. Two hands firmly on a closed Chromebook is definitely teacher approved. So why do we care so much about how you hold a computer when you're in our classrooms? We want you to recognize that computers are incredibly powerful learning tools and it is really important that they are treated with care and used in a safe manner. Bad things happen when they are misused. And one thing that is special about using a Chromebook, when you're using it, there is nothing between you and the web. Well, not like that. Uh, okay, that's better. It's important that you realize that you and what you do on the internet has the power to change the world. Barack Obama's creative use of the internet helped him get elected President of the United States. The people of Egypt use the internet to help get the message out that they were unhappy with their government. And if it wasn't for the internet, I probably wouldn't have to ever listen to this guy. So it's not just a computer, it's a powerful tool. A tool for creation, whether it's writing, singing, academic, artistic, or even teaching someone how to dug it. So treat your Chromebook with the respect that it deserves, and always remember to use two hands. <laughs> <laughs> 